he just proved, he put in a, a summary statement when he said, we'll crush you, we'll hold you, we control the economy, why we should get rid of that apparatus. And he can do that to you and stop the economy. That yeah. threat, we need to get rid of it. They either get rid of the yeah, union treat your workers well. or automate it. I want to be held hostage again by that scumbag. What do you think? Thanks for being yeah, you don't want to because you don't want to pay workers their fair due. You want to have your, your, your little pussy and you want to have your luxuries without fairly treating the people who are providing you with said luxuries. That is, you're, you're being a priss, dude. If we just pay workers fairly, then maybe they won't go on strike. Yeah, have you ever thought about that? Maybe you should. So this was a content suggestion. If you would like to leave suggestions for things uh, for me to react to, uh, you can leave it in the Discord, uh, which you can find the link to in the description below. I'm starting stream with this react segment because it has to do with the port strike that happened. To be clear, I don't know a whole lot about the port strike, um, so that's why I haven't, like, I wasn't planning to cover it. <laughs> so bear with me. What I do know about it is that they, it only lasted two days and they're getting a 62% raise as according to this video. Uh, this is Scuttlebutt, AKA, um, what's his name? Jameson, uh, something. So I, I know of this guy. I've never covered him on stream, I don't think, but um, I did sign, for some reason, a long time ago, I signed up for his emailing list. Port strike ends as workers agree to tentative deal on wages and contract extension. Major union for U.S. dock workers and the United States Maritime Alliance agreed on Thursday to a tentative deal on wages and have extended their existing contract to January 15th to provide time to negotiate a new contract. The move ends a strike that has snarled East Coast and Gulf, course, Gulf Coast ports since the beginning of the week and threatened U.S. supply of fruits, automobiles, and other goods. So basically, the ILA, the International Longshoresmen Association, um, went on strike over bad work conditions and um, just, you know, typical strike stuff. They wanted a wage increase as well. So it will increase 61.5% over six years under the tentative agreement, which, you know, I'm no mathematician, but that seems like a pretty st uh, significant increase. I think six years is a little long, but whatever. Uh, so that was a major win. And uh, Joe Biden was actually backing the strike, which is awesome. But uh, not everybody's happy about it, including Fox News. I actually watched a Fox News segment of Laura Ingram going over the strikes and how evil the uh, the strike guy was, or the, uh, the leader of the ILA is like just how bad of a person he is and uh, I want to go over Scuttlebutt here who I know to be a right winger and he says that the union extorted a 62% raise so let's take a we look. We have breaking news that we want to get to right now you'll remember if you were joining us uh, on midnight uh, on Monday October the 1st when those port workers went on strike they yeah, went mobster. off the job onto the picket line we are breaking in right now because the parties have reached a tentative uh, agreement here. We have live pictures. I'm gonna bring some of them up here, not only in New York, but also there at the Port of Savannah in Georgia as well. Well, this is what we know, the union representing those. Are you ever gonna debate Matt Walsh? I have already, I have. I did it at, uh, if you look at my latest video that I just released, if you're watching on stream, that is, you, you can see that I went to a uh, college thing that he went to and debated him live, so. He probably would not agree to one anymore because I, I absolutely slaughtered him. There's 45,000. They're going to wait to start over the strike January 15th. Think about that and I'll shut up. Striking U.S. Okay. dock workers at ports up and down. By the way, I think this, in case I didn't mention it, this is all incredibly based. We love our union workers. Uh, we love, we support unions here. We're a pro-union stream. The eastern seaboard and the Great Gulf stuff. Coast. Well, they have reached a deal with the U.S. Maritime Alliance to suspend their strike until January the 15th to provide time to negotiate a new contract. That's according okay. to a person briefed on the matter to Fox here. So the strike is over for now. Uh, there's this 90 day window uh, for talks to continue. This is tentative. And we heard the mob boss in charge of the union say, yeah, they'll go back to work, but instead of the doing 30 boss. containers, they'll do eight. So now we're going to pay a tax. So I have to pay these guys overtime to deal with the containers that are sitting there. Wait, that's not a tax. What? What do you mean a tax? Why, why is everything a tax to these people? Oh, no. Uh, increased wages? That's a tax. A tax on the corpos? That ain't coming out of your paycheck, dude. Shut the f*** up. And the ship's out. 
the shore because that mobster who's running it, you remember him? You saw that video here with his, you know, $10 million with a hug. Do they, okay, do they have any evidence that he's a mobster? Because I've heard, I think I heard Laura Ingram saying that he has ties to the mob or something. And I don't know that that's true. But if it is true, it's kind of based, honestly. Not gonna lie. Home so he can feel good about himself to get that big board seat at Walmart later. At the moment here, if talks break down past January 15th, presumably uh, the strike will go into effect. But they have bought themselves time here. The union, remember, the International Longshoremen's Association. Get rid of it. Will resume working immediately. Wait, get rid of what? Longshoremen's Association. Get rid of it. Oh, the I, Will resume the I, uh, working ISA, immediately, at least until January the 15th. The agreement will allow both the union yeah, and the, the union. U.S. Maritime Alliance, uh, which represents both the shippers and the ports here, time to negotiate a new six-year contract. Uh, so the person to the Associated Press also said... Both sides. Re I thought that like Republicans were trying to appeal to workers, you know, like the right wing wanted to appeal to more workers. I don't understand why they're attacking unions like so flagrantly, at least. I understand they don't like unions. They never have and they never will. Um, but like they're doing it pretty blatantly and it just doesn't make any sense to me. Reached agreement on wage. So this contract's been out there six years. They wait the last minute, then go on strike. They can get a new one. Now they're going to push it away in more 90 more days. It was a six-year contract. Why didn't they start negotiating a year ago? This thing's all planned. Editorial, but that's my take on it. Increases, uh, but details. I don't know the truth of them, like, waiting until the last possible moment, but also if they did do that, I don't really care. They're a union. Like, they fight for the rights of the workers underneath the union. So I'm fine with whatever, you know, as within reason, whatever tactics they want to employ. Like, I, I don't feel bad. Like, let's say that they did wait until the last second or whatever. I don't feel bad for the corpos, okay? I really don't. Like, the, the billionaire heads who own the company, it doesn't matter. They don't, they, they really don't matter that much to me. They're doing fine. We're not and they'll available continue here. To do Fox fine. Business, though, does have the details. If no full deal is reached by then, by January the 15th, right, of course. the offer that is on the table right now, that offer is a 62% wage increase that hike will be pulled from the table if good. in the interim they cannot still agree on this here. Why is this that is a good? conditional offer. It's been made to the ILA. The ILA has accepted this right now. The people who own these ports make rake in millions of dollars every year. Like, the workers should see some of that. If you want my opinion, they should see all of it. Like, they're the ones doing the work, but hey. 60 so they got a 62% raise. They're taking that for 90 days. They want to renegotiate. January 15th. The worst part of this is that they didn't go to 69. That would have been awesome. In what world can these people hold us hostage any longer? Automate. That's what I have to say. Automate. I never want to be held hostage again by this mob boss. 2%. Holding hostage to him means that they that you ask for like fair livable wages, apparently. Um, this is not holding anybody hostage. Well, it, I mean, d let's be real here, man. Like, do you want them to do that work that is required for America to run properly? Because if you do, then they should be compensated properly, okay? Clearly, they feel that they're not being treated well enough. Like, you, you're calling them entitled. Meanwhile, they're working during COVID. They're working long hours. They're, they're lifting heavy shit. Like, this is not easy what they're doing, okay? If you do think it's easy, then you go do it. It's, they got such a good deal. You go do it, right? Go Wage get your bag. increase here. Not entirely sure uh, if they have agreed or not on some of these other concerns these dock workers had like the threat of automation no, to automate. their jobs also some uh workers should definitely get most of the money but runners of the company still need to get some of it for expenses i understand that how that works but I, I was being a little bit hyperbolic but basically what i mean is the workers are the ones who uphold the company if a ceo if the ceo of the company were to die tomorrow the company would be fine they'd just hire a new ceo and keep it all running but if the workers were to die, well, then the, the whole thing's going to shit. Like if all this, I'll even go further. If all the CEOs were to die tomorrow, like all the people running the overhead, you know, the white collars, they would be fine. They would still have their basic workforce, okay? They would still be able to do all of the on the ground work. They're way more important than the people up top. And yet they make way less money. That's not fair. Uh, with regard to their retirement plans as well, this is what we know right now. The, the He's so disgusted. Only Look at him. matters right now with. It's like, oh, God, oh, people being treated huh, fairly in the workplace. 
God damn, I, I could never imagine such a thing. Ew. Their base pay with their wages and they're getting a 62% hike. It's on the table, that offer for the next 90 That's days great. here. Uh, in the meantime, we are getting in right now a joint statement in from both parties. Uh, let's take that here. All right, so this is what they say. Uh, this is a joint statement between the ILA and the Maritime Alliance, quote, that the International Longshoremen's Association and the United States Maritime Alliance Limited have reached a tentative agreement on wages and have agreed to extend the master contract until January 15th, 2025 to return to the bargaining table to That's negotiate awesome. all other outstanding issues. Effective immediately. Yeah, 162%. Prevent <laughs> the ports are doing automation. Automation's coming. I don't know how the Maritime Association agree to that let's say that automation does come what happens to those workers man like where do they go and what do they do are you just fine with them being homeless and jobless that's kind of fucked up don't you think like honestly i want an answer to that like what do they do after that okay everything gets automated and then what they just they're them they're out of a job like come on i mean this is entitlement but they genuinely deserve it it's not okay entitlement has a negative connotation to it when you call something entitlement what you're saying is that a person is unnecessarily doing it or uh unjustly doing it technically you're right but the connotation here is also important no automation after this right here i was pro these guys after this i'm for automation I don't want to be held hostage by that mobster ever again. Yeah, because you want people out of a job. 62% raise are unhappy with that. And they want the people who ship the goods to not agree to automation. Well, let's see real quick. Let's just take a look. Starting at $9.10 per hour. Let's be generous. Let's go up to 27 an hour. So you're talking 43, let's say 44. We'll round up to $44 an hour. Okay. It's about, I mean, that's a little bit higher than livable. Then what's livable now? I think that's completely fair. Multiply by 1.62, eh, whatever. It works. 27 times 1.62. Yeah, okay, same thing. My bad. You guys get the idea. I think that's completely fair for a dock worker. Why is that not fair? Like, okay, you think you don't make enough? Uh, you go ask your boss for more money, like they did. Get what you're, get, get the money that you are owed. What disco fantasy land are they living in? All current job actions one where they want cease, more money and all everyone wants more money man. by the master contract will resume here uh, wow. so this was about a three and a half day strike here uh, we've covered a lot of union strikes here at live now uh, this one not very long at all here we do have live pictures I believe this is in Red Hook in Brooklyn at the moment a live picture there and you can see it looks like uh, some of these. And by the way, that wage increase, that's on the generous side, first of all. And second of all, that's over a six year period. In six years, that may not even that might be the livable wage. We don't know. Striking dock workers who are no longer striking, uh, waving the American flag. You see there uh, our friend yeah, nine bucks Connor Hansen. He's uh, on the scene there in Red Hook in Brooklyn. Of course, we know uh, the largest yeah, is port on the East Coast. That's the port of New York and New Jersey here. Uh, we've been showing you some of these scenes throughout the last three and a half days here. Uh this guy hasn't actually said anything of substance. So far, all he's done is bitch and moan. Like, dude, you're, you're just being a, a little whiner about it. You're just whining over it, okay? Like, those are the people, those, those people are a big part of the reason that you can enjoy the luxuries that you do. They deserve more pay. If you want them to keep doing that job, then maybe you should treat them well. The, the solution is not to simply automate their jobs and then make the and then force them all into homelessness. That's corpo speak. You're a corpo. You're a corpo bootlicker or a corpo. Just period. End of story. I don't know this guy very well. He might be a corpo. Uh, so uh guess there must have been a shortage of Starbucks pump ingredients. I mean, come on. So think about this strategy. If they predict Trump's going to win, they dump it in his lap. Then he's stuck with this thing. And can you see that happen? <laughs> I can. Good. These people are vicious. Why wouldn't they? Uh, this doesn't mean this is over by any means. Yeah, if Trump wins, I hope he gets stuck with all of the worst shit. I don't think Trump will win, but yeah. I hope that he gets stuck with all of the worst shit. Mm -hmm. I hope that, like, everybody goes on strike and Trump has to deal with it. All it means is that these then you'll workers, see. they will get back on the job. While the parties that represent them, the union that represents them, uh, led by the ILA president, Harold Daggett, he will be back at the table right, of course. with the U.S. Maritime Alliance here. Now, the ILA this morning... He's not adding uh, very much commentary uh, at all. a 
testy ten Honestly, I'm glad I went over this, if not, if only for the reason that it makes me feel a lot better about my own content. Sorry, dude, it just kind of sucks. You're not really adding anything to this except your own outrage. It's a long no statement uh, on their Facebook page, uh, really criticizing members of the media. There was a piece in the New York Post just yesterday, uh, kind of detailing, outlining uh, some of Harold Daggett's uh, lavish expenditures yeah. and mansion there uh, talking about his lifestyle uh, and Dag don't give a shit okay I, I really don't I get really went after the post for he's still for fighting that. for the he workers the newspaper this week published aerial photographs of his New Jersey whatever he makes it is not nearly um, uh, uh, what uh, see what the CEOs make I doubt it like I could be wrong I haven't looked into it but I sincerely doubt it and even if it is I think he deserves it more than they do home including posting his address in an article he says they printed other details of his personal life full of don't false ask, accusations don't against ask very him. easy guy owns an assortment of homes in a bed Sorry, I meant Chet Wilson. Don't ask questions that make a lot of sense. Bentley. That's what I meant. And they offered a 62% raise. He said no. The average wage was $142,000. This guy's not getting on paper a million dollars. Not to mention he's probably the Great. fiduciary of their pension fund. Do that math for those of you who know. Check that out. I allegedly check that out. With the sole intent on destroying... Let me put it another way. Regardless of how much money he's making... That guy, the guy in charge of, um, uh, of that uh, union is not the guy, like, that's not the reason that the other workers are not making nearly enough money. He's not the reason. ...his character yeah, and God disparaging his 68-year ILA career with the intention of weakening his ability to negotiate a new master contract for ILA members. That was this morning, uh, and my, how the hours have progressed and the news has progressed here. Uh, that the porch. All right, I'll leave the link to this full video. Fox Live, whatever this is. The guy, 68 years, a longshoreman. How old is he? He's not more than 68. Does it make sense? Number one. Number two, he just proved. He put in a, a summary statement when he said, "We'll crush you. We'll hold you. We control the economy. Why we should get rid of that apparatus? And he can do that to you and stop the economy." That yeah. threat, we need to get rid of it. Either get rid of the Yeah, union treat your workers well. Or automate it. I want to be held hostage again by that scumbag. What do you think? Thanks for being Yeah, you don't want to because you don't want to pay workers their fair due. You want to have your 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 little pussy and you want to have your luxuries without fairly treating the people who are providing you with said luxuries. That is you're you're being a priss, dude. I don't care like this whole macho man thing you're putting on you know, this, uh, this fake male outrage, whatever, like, you're still a pussy, okay? You are, you're being a little princess about it. So shut the f*** up. If we just pay workers fairly, then maybe they won't go on strike. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe you should. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash TTV slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.